how has post college life been treating you? Because I ain't gonna lie, it was a little scary for me when I realized, like, yo, school, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't gotta do school. Like, this is this is kind of crazy, bro. For eighteen years straight, you were in school and just out of boop, you ain't gotta wake yeah. up for shit. You ain't gotta do assignments, meet people, go to classes. Shit is crazy. So, how how, how was that experience for you? How how's that been? Yeah, uh, man. So graduating college, so it felt weird, and I think you can relate to this heavy. It felt weird because I graduated college and wasn't gonna use my degree immediately. Yeah. So I was <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> but once I'm during the process or anything, it was fun. Obviously, it relieved a lot of uh, stress knowing that I don't have to basically turn in an assignment, think about an assignment. Like I'm telling y'all, for those that are in high school. That shit is chump change compared to kind of like that shit. That shit is beyond chump change. When you when oh like I know you think the idea of oh I don't have a deadline for this week the week the week at this point is just um no my bad I'm wearing that wrong let me start over I know and I know ideally it sounds like if a professor or your teacher walked up to you and said hey in a month you have this assignment due go for it. But when you realize the motherfuckers basically say, hey, you got to learn this shit on your own. Mm -hmm. Hey, you have the freedom to not turn that bitch in. Mm -hmm. And the worst part that nobody talks about, they ain't going to remind your dumb ass. Yes, there is no bro. Yes. They, they will teach you. Like, they, they, like, let's say last class was addition and there's a multiplication tables test on Friday for your final. They will teach you addition, sub subtraction, and division that whole week. And then, bam, the finals, the finals is today. Oh, shit, you ain't know how to multiply? <laughs> that's tough bro <laughs> like they they will do that shit bro so and, and the thing about college too i'm, I'm gonna just i'm gonna just get yeah, this shit off ahead. specifically in like math degrees it's not on some like in high school okay this is this unit you have this test we move on to the next unit you can start from scratch new material if you like fuck up in that first quarter of that first oh, yeah. semester oh yeah Oh, you yeah, slack indeed. off because the thing that people don't get that second exam is going to build off that shit you like studied in the first exam and that third exam builds on the first two exams and also the the weight of each assignment there's less assignments you have bigger um gaps in between them but that one assignment is worth 20 percent of your grade right 20 20 percent of your grade that second assignment is worth 25 so I swear, I swear to God, there wasn't a semester where I felt like I didn't go down to the wire, like for real, for real. Yeah. And mind you, this is like I, I wasn't on some dude that like okay I passed with these, like I I still ended up getting like B's and A's and shit like that. But yo, it was that was tough, bro. Co college, it went when 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 the what you gonna call it the the guiding wheels fall off, bro, and they just give you assignments and you're just like, okay, it's due that day, and they're like, all right, let's get it done. It's different, bro. When the you know um, what I'm saying, when women are around, when you, when you got like, when you got friends, when you're in a dorm room, bro, when you got the option to just play 2K the whole day with your homies, it's different, bro. It's different. Got, and I'm not I'm not acting like I weren't in high school. Like mom and dad ain't control my life in high school and shit. But when you don't have to check in and mom and dad walk to your room and be like, I should do my homework. When instead that is. Going to the calf, going to the dorm, and you see your man's just smoking or uh, playing 2K or some shit, and you're trying to run with that instead. Those slight distractions are domino, man. That shit, that shit is killer. Another honorable mention: picking your classes, killer as hell. You you think theater fun as shit, being in theater, and ah oh, hell, ah <laughs> oh, hell. So it's it's so many killers. So when that stress was gone, man, it it, it was a huge relief. I, then I immediately decided. And whether it was right or wrong will be determined a couple years later. But I immediately decided that I was going to take that ability because I found myself sitting on my ass. I was like, all right, I'm going to just use the fact that I don't have school to at least upload every day. And that's why I'm literally still doing that. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, yeah. The no college life, bro. The only thing that nerve that has me nervous is essentially I'm trying to get a place. Uh, I don't have one of those jobs that necessarily get. You know that sustained income, so the my old motherfuckers may not relate to. Yeah. But um, outside of that, honestly, no regrets, bro. I'm happy as shit. I'm out there. I don't know if I'm gonna go back for my masters because at the point, at this point in time, I don't see a reason for it. Mm -hmm. But uh, obviously, it's YouTube sharing eternal, and I want to make sure I'm a couple steps ahead. And if that means getting my masters one day, I could see myself going back. I'll probably never live on campus again, though. That's and yeah. I'll close off with this. That's probably my biggest regret: being too shy. 
to live on campus because freshman and sophomore year couldn't tell me one reason why to couldn't tell me one damn damn near i say it i say it as a black man right now man i damn near was like not raccoon but uh-huh. i didn't understand none of the shit niggas did on campus i was like the fuck are y'all dancing for what the fuck y'all always have like i was a karen bro i was a karen bro them first two years that's how like socially awkward i was and i'm not even saying i'm some extrovert now but nowadays, oh no, I love I love the culture on HBCUs. I I would do it completely over if I went back, but probably too old at that point. Yeah, no, that's 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 fair. I I do think off off um off campus housing is pretty overrated. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like yeah, yes, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. Um, and and yes, like there's no RAs that you need to take care of, and you know, like check on. But I ain't gonna lie. I think that the community feeling of being in dorm, in a dorm, just literally, you, you just have to walk over four doors to talk to like four new people. You know what I'm saying? There's always shit happening yeah, on campus. Always something. Yo, bro, at URI, when, um, what was it? I think when the Patriots won, I think, I think they won a Super Bowl or some shit. Motherfuckers literally rioted in like the main street of. <laughs> college campus burnt down like um like trash cans and shit like you you wouldn't have seen that if you lived um off campus so it's like those moments that are pretty fucking fun yeah campus has some legendary moments and i tell anybody who's curious about it man go to homecoming don't don't bullshit just go just go thank me later and just go them concerts the after parties just go <laughs> just just go bro just go yeah oh, even the concerts too like they're pretty cheap. If you're a student, yeah, but y'all cheap got concerts I, for fucking Gucci Mane and Lil Uzi Vert and all these motherfuckers. Seventy dollars for all them. Niggas. How about I say I went they, to like an A Boogie concert and, and I think um Juice World. I think Juice World toured uh, at URI too before he passed away. Rest in peace. She was like seventy dollars, bro. Like what the yeah, fuck? Man. Yeah, they catered to y'all asses. Y'all know y'all know what y'all got <laughs> for sure. That shit. Yeah. Woo.